Welcome back, everybody, to another Taskmaster Challenge here on Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, where uh, myself, Stealth 17 Gaming, Brother Monroe, and Every Day's Different complete the exact same challenge, upload our videos to go live at the exact same moment, and see what happens. So I hope you guys have been enjoying these as much as we have been enjoying making them. It's really, really exciting to see how four different uh, players take on the exact same challenge and see what different results you can come up with. So uh, just thinking about this ahead of time, if you have an idea for a Taskmaster challenge, use the comment section below. We're always looking for those ideas for the next challenge for next Tuesday. Uh, so for this one, this one's really simple, but it's really profound as well. And I think it's going to be interesting to see how very different this may go. 1940 technology. The player is Spain. AI is France. Player builds a light cruiser. The in-game time limit is just 10 minutes. The AI has 50 transports. We start at 1,000 meters, and we have to see how many transports we can sink in 10 minutes of game time. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see what happens. Let's dive into this one. So my thought process here is that guns are just not going to be able to sink their ships fast enough that primarily this is going to have to be done with torpedoes. Uh, of course, the trouble with torpedoes is reload time and the fact that you can only target one ship at a time. But I'm thinking if there's 50 separate targets, that some of them are going to be bunched up. And if I can get a nice spread of torpedoes, I can probably sink several at one time. And so I've got a, a mixed array of singles, uh, triples, and... Uh, quintuples here so uh, i'm thinking that as soon as i get some torpedoes in the water i'll immediately shift to another target hopefully all the torpedoes uh, won't hit one target and uh, obviously four-way offset is not something i'm worried about with torpedoes because torpedoes are torpedoes so let's see what happens okay here we go one light cruiser 50 transports i'm gonna pause a lot on this one where are they all oh, they're way over there of course so we'll start getting around here. Uh, we're going to put torpedoes on aggressive, and we're going to aim for a target way back there somewhere. So as soon as we get torpedoes in the water, we can immediately start looking at another target. All right. Before I even get more torpedoes in the water, I'm going to switch the target so that these other torpedo tubes fire on somebody else. There we go. So that's a nice spread of torpedoes to start. Of course, a lot of them are going to hit this guy right here. <laughs> Not a lot I can do about that, though. And then we're going to spin around as quickly as we possibly can. And get ready for some additional targets. And... I'll count on you guys to kind of help me keep track. Oh, there's one. And he took at least three of them, four of them. So there's our first one. I'm going to do my best to try and keep track of this. I'm going to go up and swing around and get as close to these guys as I can. Every time I see one of these sets of torpedo tubes reload, I'm going to switch the targets up. There's two. Hopefully we've got a nice spread going here. Okay, we're already a minute and a half in. And hopefully we start seeing a bunch of targets go down. got to get as close as I can because we're not going to have a lot of time to wait for torpedoes to get to their targets after this first round. There's three. And three of them hit him. Four. There's some more targets going down, hopefully. Five, six... Seven. 
Eight. Nine. So nine from the first round, that's pretty good. Ten. We gotta get in close. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Thirteen in the first three minutes, pretty good. I'm gonna go right down the middle of these guys. Fourteen. Fifteen. Now we need these other ones to sink and get out of the way. Or else I'm going to be hitting already sinking targets with torpedoes. Man, I'd like to get at least 25 of these things. Problem is waiting for these things to reload. Now we have a big gap because most of the first round of torpedoes have hit their targets. I need these ones to sink before these torpedoes hit them. We're still at 15. We haven't had it sinking in two minutes. I think we're about to get one here. Come on, baby. We're halfway through this. There's 16. There's a bunch of them back there. Actually, this is a juicy set of targets over here, too. Seventeen. Now a bunch of them hit that guy. And four minutes to go. I want to get turned as quick as I can to get some of these torpedoes on target. Man, after that first burst, it's been really quiet. That's the problem with the torpedoes, because now we're waiting for them to reload. We're going to have to be nice and close on these last few targets if we're going to want to hit them in time. Should have two more coming. Maybe more. Not sure that 25 is going to be feasible. There's 18. I think we're going to miss this guy. Nineteen. Got to get him in the water quick or we're not going to have time here. 20. Thinking I wish I had more speed. 
21. Let's go for close targets now. Two minutes. 22. Oh, maybe we will get 25. I might get both of these guys here. Unless all the torpedoes hit the cask. Now I lost track. If it was 21 or 22, I can't remember. I think it's 21. Might have to go back and, and recount at the end. I think that's 22. Wow. Hit him with eight of them. This will be 23, I think. Maybe 24. I'll have to go back and count. I'll go back and count and then give an accurate total here at the end. But I think we will get 25. Got a minute and a half to go. If we can get these two before the timer, that'll be good. Tell you what, I can see the benefit of having a few of these in your fleet just to spam torpedoes in a campaign. Forty seconds. There we go. I think we've got 25 or 26 by the time we take out this guy. 27, maybe? When we get this one? Assuming we sink the musket, we might not. Darn it. All right, come on. Flood, baby. Flood. we got 17 seconds. What are you waiting on? Go down. No, you're taking too long to sink. There it is. I think that's 27. And here comes the timer. Boom. There it is. All right. Let me go and watch the video back and count and make sure I have an accurate count. Okay. So you guys can verify this and it's good to have several sets of eyes on this, but I believe in watching the video back and it's only a 10 minute video, uh, that that was 27 that I sank out of the 50. I feel like that's about as good as I'm going to do. I'm, you know, I could probably tweak the speed a little bit, maybe tweak the torpedoes and put a few more singles on to get reloading a little faster and maybe squeeze a couple more out of this. But I think for the most part, that's about as good as I'm going to do. I'm really curious to see how the other guys do, uh, and you should definitely check them out as well. Uh, so make sure you click on those links for those other three videos, support all of those channels, subscribe to them if you haven't already. And, uh, I hope you're having as much fun watching these as we have been having and playing them. It's really cool to see what other people come up with and their ideas. Uh, so check those out, and we'll see you again next week with another idea. If you have an idea for a Taskmaster Challenge, use the comment section below, and we'll see what we can come up with. Thanks a lot for watching. as possible starting at 1000 meter combat range most transports sunk wins so here we go let's dive in